May 27th. On this day we keep the memory of our Holy Father, John the Russian, the confessor and great wonder worker. Our Holy Father John was born in a village in Ukraine, and he grew up in piety and a love of the holy virtues. Reaching adulthood at the time of the Russo-Turkish War in 1710, he enrolled in the Tsar's army. Captured by the Tatars, he was sold to a Turkish cavalry officer who took him home to Prokopion in Cappadocia. Unlike many of his companions in captivity who renounced Christianity, St. John resisted both the suggestions and the blows of his master, saying that no suffering would separate him from the love of Christ. He added, You are the master of my body, but not of my soul. If you leave me free to carry out my religious obligations, I will obey your orders. It is a pleasure to me to sleep in this corner of your stable, thinking of Christ, who considered the manger in Bethlehem to be a royal bed. I will endure without complaint your blows, as the Lord endured those of the soldiers. I am ready to endure the greatest and most terrible torments, if you want to submit me to them, but I shall never deny my Christ." These words, so full of Christian fervor, along with his chaste and humble behavior, completely changed the heart and the feelings of the Turkish officer towards him. He stopped tyrann tyrannizing over him and did not require him to deny his faith. Given the task of looking after the horses, John lived in a dark corner of the stable, and when his master rode out into the village, he had to follow him on foot like a slave. The blessed man, however, accepted this degrading state with gratitude and glorified God for having thus delivered him from apostasy. Barefoot, summer and winter, clad in rags and taking snatches of rest on the straw or the dunghill like a righteous Job, St. John did not in any way abate his exercises of devotion, and he spent whole nights in prayer, kneeling on the forecourt of the neighboring church of St. George. He accepted without a murmur the insult and the mockery of the other slaves, and willingly put himself at their service. These sacrifices and striving in virtue were not without beneficial effects for his master, who became the richest and most respected man in the town. Having decided to make a pilgrimage to Mecca, which is obligatory for all devout Muslims, his master reached the holy city after a long and difficult journey. Several weeks after his departure, his wife invited their kinsfolk and friends to a great dinner, so that the guests could express their hopes for her husband's safe return. When John went into the room to serve a large pilaf, which is a kind of food, the mistress of the house exclaimed, How its master would rejoice if he were here to eat this dish with us while it is so appetizing. John withdrew a few moments in silent prayer and then asked his mistress to give him a full dish of this pilaf to send to his master in Mecca. While all the guests were mocking him, the mistress of the house smilingly gave him a dish of the rice. John went to the table and raised the following prayer to, to God. May he who in former times sent the prophet Habakkuk to Babylon to carry food to the prophet Daniel in the lion's den, give ear also to my prayer and bring this dish to my master. He then returned to the hall and announced that the dish had arrived at its destination. Everyone present, of course, burst out laughing and accused him of secretly having eaten the dish. However, when the master returned from his journey, bringing with him the empty dish bearing his initials, and told how he had found it full of a delicious warm pilaf one evening when he returned to his tent, everyone in the house was stupefied, and invoking Allah, began to accord honor and great respect to the Christian slave. They offered to give his freedom to him and a more worthy chamber in the house, but St. John refused, saying that he preferred to remain in the dark corner of the stable where he could the better glorify God. He thus lived a devout life for several years. 
When he fell ill, he asked that a priest bring him Holy Communion. But the priest, afraid to take the sacrament into a Muslim house, hid it in an apple and gave it to the saint like this. Thus St. John received the gifts of eternal life and fell asleep in peace to obtain the glorious liberty of the children of God on the 27th of May in 1730. Three years later, an elderly priest and some other Christians several times saw at night a pillar of fire that descended from heaven onto the saint's tomb. They opened it and found there his incorrupt body giving off a sweet fragrance. They then took it with great rejoicing to the church of St. George and placed it in a reliquary under the altar. From then on, the precious relics worked a great number of miracles for the Christians of Cappadocia and even for the Muslims. During the sacking of the village by the troops of Osman Pasha, the relics were burned by the Turkish soldiers. But they remained untouched and the saint appeared in the midst of the flames, threatening the infidel soldiers. The terrified Turks abandoned all their spoils and fled from the village. On another occasion, the saint appeared to hold up with his own hands the roof of the Greek school that was collapsing, thus saving the twenty children who were inside. At the time of the expulsion of the Greeks from Asia Minor in 1922, the Christians of Procopion took these holy relics with them to Greece, to a village of Neo-Procopion, on the island of Euboea, as their greatest treasure. St. John has since then been venerated as a limitless source of healing and blessing by all who draw near to him with faith. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art in all places and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Thy body unharmed, O righteous one. For thou wast carried off as a prisoner to Asia, wherein also, O John, thou didst win Christ as thy friend. Wherefore do thou beseech him that our souls be I shall open my mouth to chant, and with the Spirit shall I be filled, and words shall I not pour forth unto the Mother and Queen, and I shall be seen in joyous jubilation, acclaiming exultantly all of her wondrous deeds. 
O Holy Father John, pray to God for us. The stable today is the majestic place of our festival. Slaves sweat and labors are the dainties cheering our souls. An amazing change from slavery to kingship, from earth to heaven, inspires our song of praise. Holy Father John, pray to God for us. Thy flock longs after thee, O brave confessor of Jesus Christ. Thy people has gathered in thine honor, singing thy praise. Come invisibly amidst us in thy mercy to scatter our sorrows and to arm us with quenchless faith. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The downhill of passion sings of a passionless paradise, a slave of the pleasures would extol the free man in Christ. Righteous Father John, do not reject the purpose. Receive what is offered and fill up my grievous love. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. A fountain of purity whose limpid streams cleanse the solid heart, O healing compassion for the soul made wretched by sin. O most merciful, O mother of my Saviour, Implore him with motherly boldness to save my soul. Make steadfast, O holy Theotokos, thou living and never-failing spring, all them that form a company and gather for to praise thy name. And by thy grace divine, O may, deem them all worthy of glory's crowns. O holy Father John, pray to God for us. Thy shrine, though containing thy blessed relics, cannot hold an overflowing grace which daily pours out in streams to all who come to thee with faith. For as thou gavest all to Christ, there is no end to thy gifts, O John. Holy Father John, pray to God for us. Amidst the oppressive night of bondage, thou shones invincibly with faith, confessing Christ as God of all. By all that thou didst live and do, O Son, illumining all with rays of love and humility. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O wellspring of miracles and healings, pour forth of thy death-destroying floods unto thy faithful supplicants, all withered as we are with griefs, and with thy streams of sympathy wash clean away every stain of soul. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The weight of my sins and my many passions, O Lady, I cast into the sea of infinite benevolence and mercy that I know thou hast. Receive me and direct my life unto the will of thy Son and God. With bright calls of chastity didst thou first purge thy soul clean, and sternly didst temper thy whole body till it attained dispassion as firm as steel. Now thy holy relics like a sword cut through sickness, but with sacred gleamings they enlighten the faithful. Whoever have recourse unto thee, praising thy name, O John, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. By thy divine childbirth thou, O spotless, made us renewed, the whole mortal nature of the earth, born which was corrupt with passions and dead in sins. Thou hast raised all men from death to life, pure and endless, Wherefore, as is to O thou most glorious Virgin, we all now call thee blessed, as thou truly didst prophesy. Seated in his holy glory on the throne of divinity, Jesus God transcendent comes on a light cloud as King of all, and he has saved by his pure and undefiled hand all them that cry to him, Glory, O Christ, to thy sovereign might. O Holy Father John, pray to God for us. Not the cushioned courts of princes, but the dung of the stable yard, not the dainty table, but the bread and water of purchased slaves, was thy terrestrial lot, which thou didst bear with faith and with godly joy to follow Christ in humility. Holy Father John, pray to God for us. They that called thee unbeliever were astonished exceedingly at the awful wonders that thine unbelief brought to pass in Christ. 
and changing scorn to esteem, they wished to honor thee and were more amazed that thou didst scorn honor utterly. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. They who thought to burn thy relics saw thee standing amidst the fire, and they fled in terror, learning that thou dost ever live in Christ. For as in life carnal passions had no hold on thee, so now after life death has no strength over thee, O John. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Though a mother be forgetful of the child that her womb has borne, yet the virgin mother never shall forget us who are reborn as children unto the fruit of her old holy womb, and she keeps us under the wings of her tender care. All creatures were sore amazed at thy divine and great glory, O maid, O pure virgin who hast not known wedlock. For thou didst hold in thy womb the God of all, and gave us birth to the timeless Son, who grants salvation unto all them that acclaim thy name. O holy Father John, pray to God for us. Declining to end thy bondage by denying the Saviour Christ, thou didst keep thy conscience in full freedom. And he who saw thee confessing him with toils has turned all thy mourning into joy, and for willing servitude he adorned thee with miracles. Holy Father John, pray to God for us. The slave sold as merchandise has been redeemed by the grace of Christ. John, the stolen sheep, is now our shepherd. He that was seized by tyrannic violence has taken the kingdom for himself by his blessed violence in much patience and lowliness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Accepting the will of God in thine external captivity, thou didst find that liberty of spirit whereby the mind serves God in ceaseless prayer, unfettered by bondage to the flesh, and thou hast made one with God in eternal magnificence. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O oh, Lady, with all my soul I set my whole hope on thee alone. Unto thee I look for help and solace. Make haste, O pure one, and grant thy grace to me, destroying the malice of the foe, setting me at liberty to extol God while lauding thee. On this divine and most honored feast of God's our Holy Mother, let all of godly mind now celebrate. Come, let us faithful now clap our hands and send up glory unto the God whom she has borne. O Holy Father John, pray to God for us. A pauper stripped of all earthly wealth has set forth a magnificent feast for us. His trophies won in Christ, his relics wondrous and incorrupt, the ever-flowing rivers of signs and miracles. Holy Father John, pray to God for us. A slave that tended his master's beast is made our bold ambassador with the king. This new confessor, John, the truly great in humility, has justly been exalted to heaven for his faith. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Before the order of animals, but now the awesome order of angel choirs have compassed thee about, lauding their master's beloved friend, whose hidden life in Christ now is openly extolled. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Before the making of Adam's race, before the angels, angels were. God elected thee, O Mary, loving thee the most like him of the works he made, whose holy love is saving for all who sing thy praise. The holy memory of thy splendid contests on this day is come to us, and it doth gladden and rejoice the souls of all them that honor thee, with faith and reverence, O most righteous Father John. How shall I, wretched as I am, praise thy struggles, O righteous Father? How shall I tell of the deep sea of thy tears? For by thine excellence in this life that is detained to the choirs of the angels, by abstinence thou who art truly wise didst mortify the passions, and by submitting thyself to hardship, thou madest the flesh subject to the spirit, and didst put to shame the prince of darkness. Wherefore, as thou standest even now before the Master's throne, thou intercedest for them that honor thee with faith and reverence, O most righteous Father John. 
them that honour thee with faith and reverence, O most righteous Father Jah. No created thing but only the Creator with the godly minded use adore and worship as God. But manfully trampling down threats of fire, they cried out, O supremely praised and all acclaimed one, blessed art thou, O Lord God of our fathers. O Holy Father John, pray to God for us. Midst our masters be supposed thou in poverty, travailing inwardly to find thy manger born Lord within thy pure heart, by thy sighings and ceaseless prayers with a fiery faith, and thy divine humility which bowed heaven to thy pleading. Holy Father John, pray to God for us. In a truceless words, unceasing and invisible, thou fought day by day with noble valor of soul, destroying the prince of this world by thy patient faith, in deliverance by Christ, the sovereign prince of peace, who rewarded thee with victory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. With the sweat of toils was thou clothed in thy righteousness, as with the fairest robe of many colours of John, and arising like Joseph from bondage to sovereignty, thou provides us from out of heaven's granaries with deliverance from famine. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Since thou art, O Queen, whose sovereignty and guardianship does reach beyond the grave and save soul and body, while singing thy praise in hymns, never do we discharge the eternal debt we owe to thee, O full of grace. Through thee came our salvation. Three guiltless youths cast in the furnace were saved by the offspring which the Theotokos bore. Then in figure and in type, now in very truth and deed, and he has gathered all the world which cries out in chant. He works of his, O oh, sing the Lord's praises, and exalt him greatly for ages and all ages. O oh, Holy Father John, pray to God for us. Thy must, O oh, send thee to his table, made rich to the blessing of thy prayerful way of life. Bid thee take a better place, which thou didst refuse, O oh, John. For what began in servitude, thou didst embrace by choice to mortify the flesh with its passions, whereby thou wast rendered far richer than thy master. Holy Father John, pray to God for us. Desiring before thy soul's departure supply for the journey by the Saviour's mysteries, thou hast brought those holy gifts hidden in an apple for fear, and thou who hast not tasted of forbidden fruit of sin, did soar on high a worthy partaker of the grace that makes a God of earth-born mortal. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. The souls of the saints, the choirs of martyrs and angels, receive thee in their thronging companies, honoring thee joyfully after all the mockeries, the blows, the scorn, the cheerless life of where its slavery thou valiantly hast borne for thy Saviour, who as he has promised exalted thine abasement. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Completely would I be lost without thee, O Lady, depart not from thy wretched suppliant. Take my blinded soul in hand, lead me in thy love for man to virtue and a lowly heart, and shield me in thy grace from enemies who seek my destruction through the bed of passions and firmly rooted habit. Let every earthborn man upleap in the spirit and now hold his torch on high, and let all the bodiless noetic host now celebrate joyously the Theotokos, a sublime and sacred festival, as they cry out. Rejoice, O thou our blessed one, ever virgin and pure mother of our God. O holy Father John, pray to God for us. Hear our cries, O John, and as thou hast burdened once with want and mockery, visit us in our distress, and while in joy thou dances with all the saints, attend to us in pain and sorrow and infirmity, weak in virtue but believing in thy care and thy swiftness to help them that call on thee. Holy Father John, pray to God for us. If of thine own will thou wrought a wonder for thine unbelieving Lord on his futile pilgrimage, then for us who are sealed with the blood of Christ, do thou assist us all upon our earthly pilgrimage, Father John, till we safely reach in joy the divine city, 
where thou abides now. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. With the plough of prayer didst thou till thy soul, and thou didst water it with tears, till a wondrous paradise sprang up and flourished mightily in thy heart, and brought forth fruit a hundredfold, which thou dost grant to all who invoke thee with desire and faith of soul, O magnificent John, O priceless pearl. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Wounded and defiled, confounded in failings and caught fast in cords of sin, I appeal to thee with tears. O virgin, draw me up from the miry pit. I set my hope of life on thee, O lady, save my soul. Grant me boldness, cleansed by thy protective care, to draw nigh to thy son with my conscience clear. When they beheld the fearful sight, then were the foolish sore amazed. A holy light shone with splendor upon the grave of divine John. Unto the faithful they made known the very wondrous miracle. And so when they had digged they found like some inviolate treasure John's body free of corruption. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, our hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Holy Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, and the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist, of the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy life-giving cross and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven. At the prayers of our fathers, among the saints Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Sisoes the Great, Brandon the Navigator, Oran of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Molwag, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors. With the prayers of the holy Haramata Heladius, with the prayers of our righteous, God-bearing Father, John the Russian, the New Confessor. With the prayers of the Holy Hara Mater, Therapon of Sardis. With the prayers of the Holy Mater, Eusebiotis, who was perfected in martyrdom by fire. With the prayers of the Holy Mater, Alipius, whose head was crushed with a stone and thus perfected in martyrdom. With the prayers of the Holy Mater, Julius, the veteran of Durostorum. With the prayers of our righteous Father, Therapon, of Belazirsk, with the prayers of our fathers among the saints, Cyprian, Photius, and Jonah, Metropolitans of Kiev, the recovery of whose holy relics we celebrate this day. With the prayers of St. Nilus of Stolban, the recovery of whose holy relics we also celebrate this day. With the prayers of St. Augustine of Canterbury and St. Melangel, and all those with them whose memory we keep this day. At the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us. For he is good, and he loves mankind. Amen. At the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.